This right here is the voice generated right here inside Eleven Labs, and it sounded amazing. Hey man, I'm Adam, and my voice is the most popular on Eleven Labs, and everyone is using my, my voice, so try it out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove as much of the uncanny valley of your AI voice avatar and make the voices sound much more impactful and fluent, whether you're using this for faceless content to make money. I will also share with you some speech pattern and script writing prompt on ChatGPT to help you make a script that doesn't sound like it's being read. If you follow these steps, your AI avatar will sound like it's talking rather than reading. First, you have to understand that most AI voices are too slow. If I show you this one here versus this one here, everyone is using my voice and I'm very popular. So everyone is using my voice and, and I guess I'm just more popular than your voice. So we have to adjust the speaking speed first. Instead of using the pre-made voice profile, we have to make our own by using the speech synthesis tool and the voice cloning tools inside Eleven Labs. First, I want you to find a voice profile that you, you like. I mean, for example, let's pick Adam, for example. Next, I want to find a footage of a real person speaking in a way that I want in my content. In this case, I want him to have that Joe Rogan voice while he is being philosophical and analytical. I will download that clip and extract the audio that's over a minute as an MP3 file. Then I will use the speech synthesis tool to change the Joe's voice to Adam. But the cool part, the cool thing about this tool is that it will keep the intonation and the speech pattern unlike the text to speech feature. Now in the settings, select multilingual 2, which give you it gives you more much speech variation and control over the prosody, then we hit generate. Now we can hear Adam's voice exactly like the way Joe Rogan said it in that clip. In general, the people that say that suck. <laughs> yeah, that anybody who thinks like someone's like, you know, hey man, I'll just bite you. I'm like, are you going to bite me? Mm, okay. You think I'm gonna bite you too? What do you think of that face? You think you're still gonna bite me? Man, when you now, the the one thing that I I can't stand is people always generate text for the AI to speak, but they all end up like sounding like the person is reading. So use this Chat GPT prompt to edit your script to get rid of all that uncanny valley subtle things. And don't worry, I have leave or I have left this prompt in the description, so you can just go copy it. Just type in some filler words and intentionally add some misspelled words, add some stuttering. This script has to sound like it's being spoken by an AI avatar without sounding like it's being read. And just adjust the script and tweak it until you are happy with it. And do, don't overdo it. See what I just did there? Instead of saying, just don't overdo it. Make it sound like, just, just don't overdo it. What we just did here is recreating Adam's voice with more emotion. So in this case, it's a more slow paced and with, with a more of a, a philosophical tone of voice. Then we will clone this voice. So the script you give to it, it will have that Joe Rogan speech prosody. Just keep the stability between 30 to 40 and play around with the style exaggeration. Now let's hear it. Hey man, I'm still Adam. But today I'm gonna talk like I, I, I'm really analytical. Anyway, so what I was saying just a couple minutes ago was... Sounds pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but if you have more credit to use, just hit generate again to see what you can come up with and keep generating until you event eventually get a version that you like to make this better use, this prompt in chat GPT to make your script sound more appealing when it's spoken instead of being read. Now let's do anyone where Adam can sound excited like Joe in this clip. So we just do the same thing here. We will find a clip of Joe being super excited for about one minute, then we will take that as the baseline to use it in in the speech sin synthesis tool. Now let's clone it and let's let's name this to to excited Adam just like that. Now paste in the script and select excited Adam and hit generate. Now, now let's check it out. Hey man, I'm still Adam, but today I'm gonna talk like I, I'm really obnoxious. So what I was saying just a couple minutes ago was, so if you're stuck with the default voice not speaking like the way you wanted, be sure to add this video to your favorite and check out the Eleven Labs software in the description. Whether you're creating some unique user-generated content ad or faceless content on social media platforms, you gotta use this method to get the most out of it. I hope you find this content helpful.